Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. There was a lot of drama on Capitol Hill today. Democrats and the president continue battling over a border wall. Yesterday, you probably saw the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi asked President Trump to postpone his State of the Union or have it somewhere else, not in Congress. She argued that the shutdown had created security concerns. That was not confirmed by anyone who actually provides security, but that's what she said. Today, the president struck a blow of his own. He canceled a congressional trip abroad at the very last minute that Pelosi was planning to take. Fox Chief National Correspondent Ed Henry has been following every bit of this, and he joins us tonight. Tucker, great to see you. Air Pelosi Thanks, has now been officially grounded shortly after uh, returning from Christmas vacation, you'll remember, in Hawaii, and mere hours before her government jet was set to take off again for what President Trump dismissed today as a pricey public relations event. The latest skirmish between these two leaders, remember yesterday, as you noted, Pelosi trying to delay the president's State of the Union address for what she called security concerns that the Secretary of Homeland Security quickly said did not really exist. Yet today, Pelosi was set to use all kinds of government security for an official congressional trip to the war zone in Afghanistan, as well as multi-day stops in Egypt and Belgium, where the speaker would spend more taxpayer money on, yes, security, but also hotels, cars, meals, you get the idea. In fact, there was a bus full of lawmakers that was headed from the Capitol to Joint Base Andrews to meet an Air Force jet to take Pelosi and the, and the group overseas. Her spokesman told us the speaker wanted to thank our men and women in uniform and obtain what they called critical national security briefings on the front lines. But the president brought that bus to a screeching halt with a letter marked, Dear Madam Speaker, he wrote, Due to the shutdown, I'm sorry to inform you, your trip to Brussels, Egypt, and Afghanistan has been postponed. We will reschedule this seven-day excursion when the shutdown is over. Among the grounded, Democrat Adam Schiff, who was supposed to be on the trip with Pelosi and complained that this was what he called fifth-grade conduct by the president. White House aides insist this was not a tit-for-tat, that the president merely thinks Pelosi should stay in Washington to negotiate. Oh, and they say, while the military aircraft has been put on hold, it is Pelosi's prerogative to fly commercial if she wants to. Tucker? Highly amusing. Ed Henry, thank you very much. Thank you.